Whenever you pass your opponent's guard, it's important that you keep the progress that you have. So there's certain side control positions that are good for maintaining forklift. This is what we call second base when you're facing towards their legs. Third base when you're facing towards their head. The only problem though is that a lot of these positions, when you start to attack, that's when there becomes space or windows of opportunity for them to start to move and start to create scrambles. So the position that I'm going for is, I don't want to be in a crossbody position that makes me close to my opponent's legs. I don't want to be in a north-south position either because then someone can, you know, a lot of these you know, opponents that are, that are more powerful, they trap your arms and they bridge and roll. So what I'm doing is I'm putting myself in a position called diagonal side control. Diagonal side control is when we're here. And the idea is that once we have this position, we can maintain it, we can exhaust our opponent by keeping constant pressure. And this also gives us an opportunity to attack and advance without giving them any space to move. Whenever you have someone in this position, one of the hardest things is to actually collect the arm. Because if they're really good and they're really defensive, they keep their arms in tight. But if I just use my hip to put pressure on the head, while I have this arm stabilized, eventually it starts to open up the opportunity for your opponent to, to move their arms and give you a chance to attack. This is diagonal side control. Hips low, block the inside hip, and keep pressure with your hip on their head. The techniques go much deeper than this. To find out more information and to dig deeper into the truth, please stay tuned to the Jiu Jitsu Revolution.